happy to join me tonight. It's nice to see you on this Tuesday. I'm looking for my guillotine. <laughs> I'm going to need my trimmer for tonight. And some paper. And what else do I need? My instructions. Okay. So I'm going to do the cutting as I go. So if you want to follow along, then you can do. Now, I would say don't worry too much about writing down measurements and things because I have got sort of vague instructions or at least the measurements of what you need to cut out in inches and centimetres if you're using an A4, um, it's easy with A4 cardstock. So nice to see you. Hope you're well tonight. I always feel like I come on on a Tuesday and look slightly bedraggled from work, but there you go. You come as you are, and I accept you as you are. You're just gonna have to accept me as I come. So, thank you for hopping on. Right, hi Valerie. Trying to get my other device working at the same time and sticking my head in. Hi Margaret, good to see you. So, tonight I am going to recreate the card that I made yesterday on my. Um, I've got a group that we do mystery stamping, but we called something else. If you don't know what mystery stamping is, you get a kind of recipe of um, in, well, an ingredients of things that you need to make the recipe, basically. And so um, you get supplied with what supplies you need and you don't know what you're going to make. It's very exciting. Um, and then you come together on the night and I do it slightly differently where um, somebody, either me or somebody else, will um, talk you through what you're using those pieces of card for to create an, a mystery um, card so it's very exciting it's good fun if you've not done it before and so last night I will show you the results of what I made and I actually before I do I'm going to say hello a lot of people are hopping on and saying hello to me and I don't want to seem rude and as if I'm ignoring you so hi there Sally Jo hi Ali and Carol and Margaret hi Wendy hi Gina Hi Trish, 7am in Adelaide. Oh, you're woken up. So this is what we made last night. I made a Christmassy house and we were talking about it and saying you could actually, um, any house you could imagine. So somebody made one yesterday which made it look like a beach hut because there were stripes on it. Somebody suggested they could make a bird house. They said you could make a dog house, Christmas house. I mean, imagine this as a gingerbread house. I mean, Wendy, I don't know if you've got that lovely little gingerbread man set with all the little gummies and bits and bobs. That could look really fun. Um, I was thinking about the penguins, anything, any kind of house you can think of. And the great thing about this is it folds down flat. We love a card that folds down flat, so it makes it easy for posting. So obviously it depends on how much bling that you put on it. So um, it might look complicated, but it's I think it's super easy. I made it complicated yesterday because I was fiddling around with the measurements. So tonight I'm going to stick with inches, okay, <laughs> in the hope that I can... I can I'll work with it. So I'm going to use Pool Party as my base. I do like using Pool Party as my base with this. Um, what's it called? Did I save the piece of card? Yes, I did. Hues of Happiness DSP. I think this uh, Pool Party just gives it a really nice base colour. So And it's quite neutral. So this is my sort of go-to colour for this. So I'm going to cut this. Um, put it in my trimmer with the short end at the top and trim it down at four inches. Okay, so let me just check the length. I've got 11 and three quarters, so it's just past, but it's about 11 and three quarters by four inches. Okay. Let me know how you are today and what's the weather doing where you are. And maybe we could time check. Let me know where you are and what time it is. So we need a piece of that. We also need, so you can kind of technically get two houses out of one card, although you do need extra for the roof. And I do, so I'm just going to eat into this cup. Oh, can I? No, because I need it to be, let me have a little have a think. Four inches by four and a quarter. Yeah, I can do that. So I'm going to cut another piece at four and a quarter inches. Hey, hey, Cheryl. Hi there, Miss Kay. So I've got four and a quarter 
No, where have I gone wrong? Four and a quarter. Hold on a minute. What did I cut this at? Four. I need four and a quarter by four. That confused me. <laughs> Good job I checked. Okay, so these are all you need to make up your house and the rest is about just decorating your house, okay? So, I'm going to start with the easy one and that is the roof. Um, what am I... Let me just check my measurements. I've not written it down there, but anyway, I know that you score this at two inches. So, at the four inch piece of card... You're scoring it in half at two inches. It's cool here in South Australia. <laughs> hey Vicky, good morning. Hi Carol. Uh, so that's for your roof piece and it's literally a piece and a half. Now, this should slightly overhang over your house like a roof does and that you just fold it in half like a, a play setting. Now, for the actual housey bit, and this literally is a matter of just folding it once you've creased it. So you put it in the long ways into your trimmer. And we are going to score it as follows. Um, two and a half inches. Four inches. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't turn off the old notification. Let's do that. Um, Margaret says it's 7.40 and a beautiful morning in Karawi, Sydney, Australia. So that was two and a half and four inches. Then five and a half. And the last score line is eight. So it was a nice sunny day today. Um... Although it absolutely tipped it down with rain yesterday. It's a bit nippy in, in Penrith, New South Wales, Australia. Um, so that, that's all our folds that we need. So just to recap, two and a half, four, five and a half and eight. Now, I think I will fold it now because I think it just helps. Shall I fold it now? I think it just helps with visuals. So I'll, I'll do that now. So all the folds are in one direction, okay, so it's nice and easy to remember. So I'm going to fold that one. Now actually I'm not going to burnish all of them because I found that my other house is a little bit floppy. So I'm just going to not burnish them but I'm just going to fold them and tuck my bone folder away for the time being. So you should have something, huh, she says, that looks like this, okay. So you should have um, a base piece which is looks like a square but it's a little bit bigger than a square. And then your other piece folds around here. Okay, so that's that's the kind of beginnings of your house shape. I could probably crease this one a little bit more. Uh, it's 3.40 in Ohio. I will take some of that warm temperature, Ali. It's cold here, says Cheryl. <laughs> uh, Vicky says it'll warm up to 28 degrees. Apparently it'll be 36 centigrade on Sunday. Oh, that's warm. Gina says it's 1.40 in Alberta, that's the time, in Canada, and it's 10 degrees there, which is unseasonably warm for us. She says, love it. <laughs> so hopefully you've followed along that far. So it's literally just about folding it. Now, I don't know if I gave credit to the lady. This comes from Iced Images, and it's called the House Shape Easel Card, okay? So credit where credit is due. Now, for the roof, I think it's quite nice to have something that looks roof-like. So I've dug out some retired paper, because I'm sure we've got paper in our stash that we uh, haven't quite used up. So dig around, see if you can find something suitable for your roof. Or you can use um, embossing folders or stamps. So I'm just for ease again today, I'm just going to use some DSP. So for the roof, you need two pieces of four inches how big is this not quite four inches by one and three quarters so one and three quarters uh, by 
four inches. Like I said, I'm hoping, <laughs> if I remember, I'll um, maybe pop the, not necessarily the instructions, but at least the measurements somewhere. Or oh, I've got, I could put it on Facebook, actually. I hope you guys are on Facebook. Um, or if really necessary, I can email it to you, okay? There's my details there. So this is going to be our roof, a nice kind of roof, slatted roof, and you have a border all the way around. So let's get that stuck down now so we don't get our pieces muddled up. Oh, that makes a nice roof as well. <laughs> so you can really go to town with the decoration. Oops, and look what I've just got and done. <laughs> this landed butter side down on my table and I don't have my... <laughs> I haven't got my paper pad on my desk. Uh, okay, that was clever. So I'm just going to try and ignore that actually. Let me just... I can't ignore it when it's there. You know what it's like. I'm just going to get my old rag and just get that glue off so it would just end up with my elbow in it or something ridiculous. Okay. Oh, thank you, Vicky. She says, please show some love to Esther by liking and sharing the video. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so that's the roof sorted. Very tidy roof. Oh, hello, Barbie. It's been a long old time since I've seen you. How are you? Right, next up we're going to do the walls and I thought I'm going to go for a floral wall because, just because I can. Um, I thought it would look really pretty and, pardon me, when I was looking at papers, these just happen to be the right, one of the right measurements. But I will give them to you. So the wall has to be two and a quarter inches, which is these, by three and three quarters of an inch. Two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Hello, hello, Barbie. Nice to see you. So those are going to be the walls. So I'm just going to, if you've just joined, we are recreating this house card, but this one's my Christmassy one I've done. And I thought I'd just dig out some papers to make them more. I'm not ready to go full on Christmas. So I'm going to, I've reverted back to spring. <laughs> so these are going to be for the wall pieces here. Oh, you had surgery and you've been in hospital recovering. Oh, bless you. I've missed you too. Um, how are you coping? Are you getting better? Make sure that when you come to stick it down, you're sticking it on the right pieces. So we want the thin end, narrow, narrow, bigger piece, and then your long flat one is your base. So they are going to go here. Okay. What I might do is go that way because... Actually, it won't matter. Oh, that side's nice too. <laughs> That's the trouble with this double-sided designer series paper. We like both sides. Okay. I was just mindful that if I stick the door on, I wanted to make sure that, that nice, the nice blue flowers showed. So I'm just going to stick. Yeah, that's fine. Let's stick that one that way. Okay. So we've got the roof over here, then we've got, our, these are our wall panels there. And then the other piece that we need to cut out is going to be the base here, okay? So I think anything like green for grass, or this is sort of a bit like ground or anything like that, or even like a floral base would look pretty. So I'm going to cut down this piece here, which happens to be the um, same paper. And for that, you need it to be just one of those, obviously. <coughs> Excuse me. Three and three quarters by three and a half inches. Now, figure out what to keep. Whether to keep the bit of yellow. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep the bit of yellow. Uh, just double check that. Three and three quarters by three and a half. Got a nice blue strip there. Um, Kay says, yeah, I feel your pain, Barbie. Hope you recover very soon. Ruth says, sorry to hear that, Barbie. Uh, she says, I'm slowly recovering. Oh, you've got Crohn's disease. Oh, no. Oh, sorry to hear that, Barbie. That's horrible. So, coming back to the sticking, you don't want to stick your ground on the same 
side as your walls. So you want to flip this over and stick the grassy bit or whatever it is, the base, on the other side. Because bear in mind, this folds up like this, okay? So that's why you want to have the that on the outside there. Put that on the outside of the house, put this on the inside of the house. Now, it's a bit late now, but I could have done some blending around me. <laughs> I could even stamp some flowers on if I really want to. I'm just trying to make sure I get the technical bit out of the way first. This seems slightly... I can't stick things if they're not quite right. That measurement doesn't seem quite right to me. Let me just check that. I said three and a half, didn't I? I don't think it needs to be that, that long. I know I'm getting glue all over my trimmer, but for the sake of the, I reckon maybe like an eighth off or something. I can clean it afterwards, it'll be fine. As long as it doesn't stick to my trimmer. Hmm, don't know. I might have to look at that measurement again, but there we go, let's just get that one stuck down. So, our house is taking shape, it's been built. I've stuck the wrong bit, haven't I? I wanted the yellow bit on the outside. Too late, the yellow bit will stay in the inside. <laughs> I wanted like a nice, actually that's going to be covered anyway. Hi there, Shaz. So, this is going to be the roof. Oh, how cute. It's like a really florally summer house. Okay. So the lady suggested to only stick your roof on one side to help it. But, um, so this is going to just, this is probably the most fiddly part. We're just going to fold this over there. And you want to kind of get it in the middle. Okay, I hope that makes sense. But um, I did actually stick all of my roof yesterday because somebody did it and I just copied. <laughs> Hi, Shaz. How are you doing and how is your daughter? Um, I, d I think it was to do with just the way it folds and stuff like that, but I think you can stick the back of the roof down, to be honest. Now, to stop your whole house flopping around and really falling down in the wind, you do need a stopper. And bearing in mind, it is an easel card. So by not creasing it too much, that's really helped it be a bit firmer. Whereas yesterday's is a lot more floppy because I think I creased it more. So you want a nice sentiment along the front. It could be happy birthday. It could be congratulations. It could be anything like that. Oh, I've forgotten that. I'm going to just stick on some doors and windows. So I adapted it slightly uh, <clears throat> from what the lady did. <coughs> Excuse me. But I didn't go too rogue. Uh, what if I get away with this piece? Oh, hold on, I found another piece. So what have I said for the door? Let me just turn the page on my notes. The door I've said seven eighths by one and a half inches. So if you use my sticky trimmer. So I've said seven eighths. Oh, why does that look so tiny? By one and a half. Well, it's got to be a tiny door, I know. <laughs> that just looked really small when I cut it. In. Yeah, that's about right. And then um, let's get that stuck on. You could have the door, I suppose, on the other side, but no, I like it there. And then windows, I went for one inch by one inch. I might as well just cut down this seven eighths of an inch piece for a window. Now, um, you can cut that into four, so you've got like a window pane there. You could just use a pen to draw some lines over it. I'm looking for, actually, I should really use grey, I suppose. 
you could add little curtains in the window you can really kind of go to town with decorating again for the sake of tonight i'm just gonna stick it down as a whole window methinks Uh, Barbie says, this is so sweet. I've not seen a house card like this before. I know, right, Barbie? And I will not take credit because it wasn't my original idea. So Iced Images, I'm not sure what her name is, but she's called it a house shape easel card. Um, so totally stole the idea from her. So the other cute thing you can do is like add on a little doorknob. In fact, I'll do that at the end. I'm desperate to add a little doorknob on. And you could probably add on like a little chimney as well. Could add a little chimney and put some, you know, you can really just go to town with decorating, couldn't you? Well, I could. Um, let's get this finished and then we'll think about decorating it some more. So uh, I'm going to put a sentiment for a stopper. Let's just see what I've got. I can put congrats. So, you know, for, have I got a new home one? Is there a new home sentiment? There's congratulations. <laughs> Um, let me have a look. Congratulations! Lots of congratulations. Uh, best wishes. Blah blah blah. Just want a nice long one. Sorry, folks. I should have maybe looked at a sentiment before. Wishing you. A Let's celebrate today's day. Much love in your new life together. No, that doesn't really. Sorry, is that right? This is the longest bit. It's, it's the looking for a sentiment. Happy birthday, Bruce. I think I want to use this for a new, <coughs> excuse me, home card. So um, I think I'm going to just go with congratulations because. That kind of covers it, doesn't it? Thank you for your suggestions. Okay. Um, hmm. Now, what do I want to stamp it on? Do I want it on a bit of white? I think so. Now, is that Knight of Navy? I'm guessing it is. Oh, I just had an idea. Well, let's put it on my desk to help me remember. I'm going to go with congratulations, and this is from the Happiness Abounds stamp set. It's nice and long, perfect for what we need it for. Congratulations, such a clear, nice clear stamp. If you have the wood lice, wood lice, <laughs> wood lice, you know what wood lice are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's try that one again Barbie says if you have the wood slices set I think that has one. Oh, what have I done with that I think somebody's borrowing it possibly I think I've lent that to somebody the only one I don't have hi Levine she says hi cute thanks for calling me cute Levine <laughs> um Ali reckoned I should have put a happy birthday. Oh, right. So let's trim this one down. I feel, I'm feeling the need for blending brushes. I, I'm itching for the blending brushes, but I'm just going to carry on. Keep calm and carry on. Uh, is that straight? No, not quite. Let's try again. Okay, that's good. We'll keep it just, I'm not very good at keeping it simple, but I will, I'll keep it simple. Um, does it need a, a mount? It'd be nice on a bit of night of navy, wouldn't it? Now where is my night of navy? I know you're kind of hidden in the recesses of my shelf, I know. Don't make me feel guilty, you know why? Sorry, skies come along. 
there with this piece of it. Sort of. Oh, very. Right, sorry. I'm going to do some more trimming in order for me to use that nice bit of light of navy so I don't have to eat, you know, I've saved pieces like that so I don't have to eat into another piece. Not literally, that would just be gross. There's madness in my method. Right. That green yellow scrap of DSP could work, she says. Oh yes, this piece here. What to do the stamping on that? Could use that for something. Might save it. Might be nice to save that sort of thing for uh, the envelope. That could be quite nice. Yeah, I think I'll use the navy. Okay. Just thought about why they call it navy blue it's because it's that color they use in the, in the navy i wonder if that's where it comes from navy blue does anybody know i just literally thought about it I hadn't even thought about that before right am i going to be able to do this yes i am <laughs> we will do it oh that's not bad that's not bad let me see if i can push it up a bit no i don't want to budge That'd be interesting to find out, wouldn't it? Now this is where I trim so much that I end up hardly having a border left. <laughs> but it's going to bug me if the border... <laughs> what did I say to you? What did I say to you? Right. Use the scissors, Esther. Use the scissors. It's going to get to a point where it's not going to even have a border by the time I'm finished with it. It's like cutting hair when you start and you're like, oh, well, I've cut that bit now. I need to, if you ever cut hair before, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> or cut your kid's hair. <laughs> more, more to the point. Okay, that'll do donkey because, like I said, there won't be a, um, there won't be a thingy left if I keep going. Right. So I've got my congratulations. I'll just pop that one on with some dimensionals. So I'm going to just do not a cheat, but just so much easier if I just kind of chunk off of there. My little trimmer's getting a workout tonight. There we go. Any new people in the house tonight? Sometimes I have lurkers. People will lurk in the background. That's okay. You can lurk. You can watch. So the important bit is just have a little fiddle to see like where your house is happy to sit because you want it to sit properly to house sit <laughs> get it sorry that was a really bad joke i'm gonna pop that there so that it leans up against it but you want the house shape to still be nice <laughs> so that's that'll do that, i'm happy with that so if you need it to crease more just do that hi becky from Kansas, welcome. Is this your first time here? Are you a lurker? <laughs> Lurker's not a very nice name for it, like a secret watcher. <laughs> I don't know, I have to find a new name. Hi, Mary from Ontario, Canada, welcome. Let us know if it's your first time. Marcy is lurking as she's chopping veggies for dinner, bless you. Oh, well, thank you for coming to the limelight and saying hello. Please welcome everybody, Marcy and Becky lovely to have you with us right let's zhuzh this up this will make a cute doorknob let's put one of these on so let's put 
one of those on. It needs like a little number on it, doesn't it? Like a number for the door. Oh, uh, it's not Becky's first time. She's a demonstrator. That's okay. We welcome demonstrators and non-demonstrators. We welcome one and all. Sorry if I don't recognise your name and I'm supposed to know who you are. That, that's the awkward bit. <laughs> if I'm supposed to... Oh, look, we could do little... Which one call them? Um, I was just thinking that might look quite cute on the ground. To have some of these little pebbly things. Right, Sally Joe. Right, Sally Joe's good at doing her research. Uh, navy blue got its name from the dark blue worn by Royal Navy officers since 1748. I was right. She thinks I'm clever because I thought of it. <laughs> but it's only taken me, well, if you want to know my age, 42 years <laughs> to think about that one. There we go. Oh, these are cute. They're like little. I don't know, like little pebbles. I mean, I know they are meant to be faux glass. I really like to do, do you know what would be nice to do? A, why is this one not cooperating? Um, a little beach. I was thinking about a beach scene. Oh, come on, pebble, on you go. Stop wasting my time. I don't know, just, do you know what? I wonder if I need more. More, more, more. Okay. Actually, I was going to do some stamping on there as well, wasn't I? Never mind. Um, oh, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, I can stick some... The, oh, I know what I was going to stick these ones. But it might not work. Oh, these are cute. I put some little... Oh. Let's see if I can get some... That's cute, like a little flower bed. Do you reckon that'll work? The pink will go, won't it? Let's do that. They're just too cute not to use. Hey, Wendy. Nice to see you. Uh, Deb has, was lurking for a while since she last came. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I really don't mind people lurking. Sometimes I wonder who, who's behind the numbers. Now I know. <laughs> oh. That one had a little hole in it. They don't normally. Um. Sorry, I got distracted by comments. I was trying to make sure I read everyone's comment that I needed to. I want to put one, maybe a bit more in the middle. I'm going to need five, aren't I? Okay, you want to come out? You can come out then. I want it to look a little bit more random. I don't want it to look too uh, set in stone. And one over here. Lovely. Okay, that will do for that. That's good. And then I was thinking I might. I think I got myself a new one of this. Hi, Karen. Looking good, she says. Now, should I put these on the roof of the house? Or like, maybe I should put them... I'll put them floating up by the window where you can see them because... When you've got it on display, that's what you're going to see. You don't want a bland window, do we? Where's my... That's what I'm looking for, my glue eraser. Um, let's get this up. Now, if I had a big butterfly, would that look too huge? No, I don't think it will. So we're going to have them flutter-buying by the window. You know, like they chase each other, don't they? There we go. Cute, cute. Still think I need a little number, but, but maybe I can find out the number of when I give it to who I need to. I wonder about a chimney. 
Anything else? What do you reckon? No idea where the cat came from. Oh, <laughs> you got a cat emoji in a box. Can anyone help me, please? Oh, can anyone help me? <laughs> Does anyone know a stamp set with the word great in it, please? Off the top of my head, isn't haven't we got a grand parent stamp set? And could that possibly have the word great in it? We've got the word grateful. But I know that's not how you spell great. Oh, you got me thinking now. Let me reach for a catalogue. Now, if you haven't got a catalogue and you'd like one, <laughs> I can send you one for free. If you are in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, and now Belgium and Ireland. So, I don't, I don't know what it'd be called, the that one I'm thinking of. But let's see if we can help Wendy out. If anyone's got any suggestions, let us know in the comments. I don't know what it'd be called. Do you know the one I mean? A grandkid doesn't have it. Uh, and grateful is the wrong spelling I need. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, have you, I presume you've been through the entire catalogue already. Some people catalogue their, like, their entire collection, don't they? Oh, you've got us thinking now. I, great. Where would, great would come in one of those kind of cheesy ones, wouldn't it? Like, I think you're great or something. Um, I can't th think. I've got lots of gratefuls. Ooh, that's got us thinking, hasn't it? See, sort of ones which have got like lots of sentiments in, you would think might have possibly the word great. There you go. That's a good way to search your catalogue, isn't it? <laughs> so, this, like I said, will fold down and I think it, I won't guess, I'll measure it. Mm, you're pushing it so let's say like comfortably you'd want a four and a quarter envelope by four and a half but if you've got like the envelope uh, maker that you could maybe make your own or just get a square envelope oh Wendy's been through her entire catalogue you might have to look at any retired bits and bobs but hopefully I've gone to show you that you can create these lovely really cute house cards in various forms and um, we talked yesterday about, about um, you know having a, a whole village <laughs> you can you know have an entire village of cards so what do you reckon to these what are your thoughts I think they are great one easy to make two very economical um, three you can change them up to any design that you need so yeah thanks to iced images i'm sorry i don't know your name iced images um but there we go uh janet says i'm a many times over great auntie so now i just add a capital g before aunt when i do my cards love g aunt janet ah i have an old set geared for boy and has a sentiment that says you're a great kid or to a great kid i believe Jude, welcome. Love those cards. She says, love them, says Carol. Adorable, says Marcy. Your house is just awesome, says Luana. So creative, great for holidays or for anything. Absolutely. Um, if not, um, Wendy, I think there's possibly a stamp set. I'm trying to think. I don't know if it's got the word great in it and I don't want to promise. But, um, it, oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry for yawning. When do you need it for? Because it'd be interesting to see if it was in there. Gina says, super cute. Thank you for sharing, Esther. Shared to Pinterest. Thank you. Yes. By the way, <laughs> if you um, press some buttons down there somewhere, along there, uh, there's a share out button and you can share it to several places. So if you want to share it to your friends, who th you think that's such a great idea. I'd like to share that with my friends. It's various ways of doing it and including Pinterest. So you can share it on YouTube and Facebook and um, Pinterest. You, 
Yeah, Barbie suggesting you could use an alphabet stamp set. So if you're going to give this a go, please, I'd love to see your designs. If you're on Facebook, do share it with me over on SSC Inspired and Shared. And um, that's a good place to be able to share your makes where you've been inspired by what I've made or if you've got things that you want to share uh, using Stampin' Up! products. So thank you all for watching. It's lovely to see you all. And I hope you enjoyed today. I hope you feel inspired and ready to go and get making. Stepping Stones has a great in the quote. Oh, there you go. Stepping Stones. Naveen's got a whole catalogue of stamps, so she's your girl. Um, wildlife Wonder has great in the sentiments, if you mark off the other words. The upcoming spring mini catalogue has a best family ever stamp set. It has great in it. See, Marcy, that's probably the one I'm thinking of. Thank you. No. Have you got the old and somewhere I've got an old alphabet stamp set? Can I find it? Oh, what have I done with it? Let me just quickly check my shelf if I can manage to get there. Surrounded by one or two things. Um The pick a pennant. Have you got that? Because they are quite small. Ah, oh, Ali says this was inspiring. I want to make a gingerbread house. So do I, Ali. So if you make one, please do share it. I'd love to see it. So I'm just going to quickly look in here for Wendy. Um, I think I've got I've got most of the letters. I've got the letter C missing, but. Um, and these are under a centimetre, so they're about oh, 15 sixteenths of a, an inch. Didn't the old family party have great in it? Hmm. I don't know if it did. But um, Wendy, if you wanted to borrow this stamp set, let me know. Just message me. It's creations at gmail.com. Um, if anything else, ladies and gents, like a catalogue or if you want to place an order online and you don't have a demonstrator already, I totally have that honour and privilege. Um, can I just say, if you're ordering online, please use my host code and then I'll send you something in the post by way of thank you. Um, and that's all from me for tonight, folks. Thank you once again for joining. Just trying to tidy up as I go. Oops, there's no family party doesn't have it. Well, Wendy, like you said, if you, if you need to find the stamps, let me know. Just drop me an email or something. Now, the other thing to say, excuse the washing. Apart from that, no, that wasn't what I was going to say. Um, if you'd like notifications of when I'm coming live, particularly maybe if you're not in the UK, um, and you have whatsapp the app called whatsapp which is the messaging service then i can i've got what's called a broadcast so i can send out messages to lots of people at the same time without everybody sharing their number it was only me that you have to share it with so that i can obviously send the message so if you'd like to be added to that list again please just email me drop me an email um and i can add you to that so i'm just going to pop it in the comments beep, 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 beep. Um, that's where, well, that's my email address. Okay, good. Nice to see you. To see you, nice. Are we in December next week? I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to add it up really quickly. This year is just speeding round a little bit too quickly for my liking. <laughs> it's all gone a bit crazy. <laughs> but there we go. Each day as it comes. A good man has it. Ah, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> None of what we suggested. <laughs> the thing is, a lot of my retired stuff I've, I've gotten rid of, so... Um, good, I'm glad you found something. But if you still get stuck, Wendy, let me know. Uh, good night, Kate. God bless. Lots of love to you all. 
Thursday is the first, I think. Oh, yes, Thursday is the first, so that's like a couple of weeks. A week, week Thursday. Thank you, Wendy. I'm not sure I wish the time away or anything, but I'm just, you know. The weekend is for shopping. Next weekend is December. Okie dokies. Wow, it's still speeding around fast, and this is where I start getting, not a panic, but I'm just thinking, oh, I've got things to do. There we go. Right, I will love you and leave you. I could just stay on and chat otherwise. Take care. I'll see you next week. All being well. Uh, Wendy's only been looking for like three hours for her great sunset. Should have come on here earlier. Hi, Elizabeth. You're watching on replay. I don't know which bit you're up to, but I'm about to finish. So maybe I should just let her know that. Or does she mean she's going to watch on replay? I'll just type a little message just in case. Right, <laughs> I am gone. Gone for good. Bye. Nice to see you, Karen. Thank you, everybody. Bye.